Welcome back, everyone. It's a tier 10 game on El Haluf. I am driving the American T92 tier 10 SPG with quote unquote the biggest gun in the game. Let's go! Because artillery plays tend to be a little sluggish, particularly when you've got a 44 second reload, we're we doing a lot of this match at double speed starting about now so that you're not stuck watching this for long periods going and she's going to fire another shot get a little close back totally play not generally most exciting but stick with this one this one gets a little bit interesting first contact our centurion 71 chasing an sp1c good luck I am pretty much doing on a typical tank destroyer spot. I'm really hoping that Ron's Borsing is chilling about here so I can just sort of nuclearize him. Unfortunately, first shell lands well short of the intended aiming point. That happens a lot with the 292. Now I can see this contact being made up in the northwest corner, so I shoot my aim up there. And start waiting patiently for my first victim. Ah, oh, so Jerry looks good. Really badly misjudged the shell travel time on there. Now on the mini map, I was bothered there's an E50 down below. So my next shell I've decided is gonna be an HE followed up by an armor piercing shell. Because I might have to TD mode that E50. Oh, he's got a patent friend. Now it's the centurion again. And not really worth a shot on. We'll wait for something better. Thinking, shoot the centurion. Ooh, he's dead. Full health conquer. Don't mind if I do. 500 damage, not bad. Uh, but the uh, 50 and M48 are coming up. But I think hmm. tell myself, yeah, all right. Load armor piercing. I have two of these. It looks like they might take them long to get up here. That might kill you off one more shot. The C100 is side scraping. It's clearly giving my team some problems. So we'll see if we can nail them. Uh, hitting people direct hits the, the 24 million armor piercing shell is kind of funny. I mean, this is basically a dreadnought gun <laughs> that I've got on here. It's a roughly 10 inch shell. Whoop! Patent E50 have finally made it up here. Uh, I'm pretty close to reloaded. They're busy slaughtering the other arty. Hello, Patton. Armor <laughs> uh, piercing for the win. Completely and totally. Wait, what's this? Oh my. What? Uh, I'm still loading. Nope. Run. Run, 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 run. Just dodge. And. Yep, already. My arm's poor sake. Saves me from inevitable destruction. I try and dodge. Luckily, the enemy artillery are more interested in killing the AFK T32 than they are in dealing with me. So I now race for the southwest corner. All the other artillery on my team is dead. It's just me now. Luckily, my team seems to be on the front foot. We've still got E100 and IS8 and me and the other teams only tier 10 for all artillery. Oh, Rhymes Borsig, one of his favorite targets. Ooh, a very crippled VKB. Oh, okay, you want to come out? Goodbye. Sweet. All right, that was their, la their only tank destroyer. Now I can see that there's two very low health tanks up there. The 5120 is going to flank, but you know what? Two guns is better than one. I'm gonna go back them up just in case something awkward happens. You also see there's a Rhymes Borsig climbing to their base. He is building like artillery hunting. <laughs> it's a really dangerous job for a Rhymes Borsig because they don't enter very fast. So I'm just gonna go up here in case something awkward happens to this nearly full health 5120. All right, ISA is fighting with the two enemy heavy tanks. 5120 is going to get there way ahead of me. He just killed the IS-8, but it's too late. 5120 flanks and obliterates both heavy tanks. Oh, heavy artillery. Takes a hit from the Rhyme Borsig. Who needs to aim anyways? Just shoot, get direct hits, no problem. So, down to a last opponent. It's a uh, Bat Chat 15558. And I bet he's in this corner right here. Ryan Sporsik is 
capping 5120 is clearly hunting artillery, but um, well, he doesn't investigate it very thoroughly. So I'm just sitting here, just chilling. I'm going, do I shoot? Do I not shoot? I'm just really not sure. Hmm. So, after a little bit of just sitting here, I can see that we're, the match will be ending soon. I finally decide, hey, I'll throw a shell up there anyways. It'll be fun. You'll see it happen eventually. As it turns out, I near miss him. <laughs> He's up in this corner, just like I'm guessing. I don't do any damage to him, but uh, it comes close enough that he shows up on the damage register for this match. Yeah, that was that was actually pretty close to him. Anyways, I know it's an artillery match. I went through a double speed, but I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Good game, and good night.